Hello everybody. As I do this uh, video, I'd like to uh, apologize for my pronunciation of nuclear. I have a tendency to call it nuclear. So if I do that, uh, please overlook it. Have you wondered why the rhetoric about uh, global warming has quieted somewhat in the past few months. This is what I think has started to redirect the debate and will put the world on energy independence. The Department of Energy has certified a large laser. This instrument will explore the origins of the universe and create energy by nuclear fusion. Now remember that word, fusion. In 2010 or 2011, it is believed a tiny thermonuclear explosion will be exploded inside a small capsule. This limitless source of fusion energy will be the same power that powers the sun and the stars. Of course, it's all the same. This is not science fiction, but is on the verge of reality. Scientists are saying this thing is more fantastic than you can believe and is destined to be a reality, and I believe that it's on the verge of being reality. Researchers have dreamed about the possibility of creating clean, cheap power for years. This will be a complete game changer for energy. Now remember, this is fusion, not fission. Nuclear power plants rely on nuclear fission, which creates radioactive waste. If the experiments at Lawrence Livermore is successful, or are successful, 500 billion watts of power is possible. Now, this news is out there for those that uh, probably already know about it or want to know a little more about it. But uh, most of the news services are only giving it small blips. I don't know if it's because it's too technical or what, but I think this is one of the most spe spectacular things to be invented in the history of mankind. And if you do a Google search, you can find several articles about this large facility. And they plan to ignite a tiny, I'm reading now, they plan to ignite a tiny hydrogen fuel pellet and produce a burst of energy that is beyond belief. Scientists are saying this is the first time a laser will be capable of reaching the energy and power to drive the fusion process. And of course, a good thing about fusion is it doesn't create a risk of a nuclear meltdown and produces almost no waste. If this works, and I really believe that it will, it will completely change the world, both economically and politically. And if this works, and I, I'll say again, I'm sure it will work, this is going to be the most fantastic thing that uh, has ever been invented by man. Well, if you want to find out a little more, go to Google. We'll see you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Get this turned off.